have a vested interest here because I'm Sullivan County's district attorney. And I can speak from experience because since I came to the DA's office, pretty much from day one, over 16 years ago, I was assigned to the Village of Liberty PD and assigned to the Village of Liberty Court, which no longer exists. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about public safety, and I'm here to talk about the victims of crime and what it means when a mayor and a board make a decision, at least it seems to have been made, to eliminate the detectives. Because that's what this is about. This is about taking away a tool that the Liberty Police Department needs to do its job to protect the public. And I can talk about cases. Stephen Johnstone referenced that cabbie case. Those men are doing decades in state prison because of the work of the state police and the Village of Liberty detectives and patrolmen. That bank robbery. Let's talk about bank robbery. Because I live out in the western part of this county. I live out in Coshecton. Let's talk about bank robberies. We had one not too long ago, right after I took over as DA, at a very sleepy branch. You think you live in Mayberry, folks. You don't. Okay? You don't. So the branch gets robbed. It's unsolved. Not for want of trying, but it's unsolved. Your TD Bank North gets robbed, and in an hour, because there are police officers who are watching, looking, seeing, investigating, detecting, and apprehending, that crime is solved. Take away the tools that this man needs to do his job, and you imperil public safety. Let's talk about the union, because we've heard a lot of bad things about unions. What about the county union? And I'm not here to talk badly about union employees. I employ people who are part of the Teamsters, and the Teamsters supported me. They were unwilling to give up anything. These police officers who, as a prior speaker said, would take a bullet for you, are willing to give back. And this board, in the mayor's budget message, says he wants one detective sergeant eliminated, one detective eliminated, and one sergeant eliminated. Who made him police chief? We all know we are in economic crisis. And as one of the other speakers said, we all need to pitch in. All of us. This has been mixed. This board talks about $600,000 in unpaid taxes. $400,000 gaps. $400,000 in unpaid taxes, folks. There are people out there, and as one of the other speakers said, businesses who aren't paying. So does that mean that the police department gets sucked down because of that? And the mayor directs that the chief is going to lay off the entire investigatory division of this police department so they can no longer investigate the child sexual abuses that come to them, the burglaries like Lou Siegel. I can recollect about 10 years ago when the detectives were first starting out, they were babies, I would call them. They caught a prolific burglar who had burglarized three separate residents in this village with the help of the New York State Police. <clears throat> with their investigatory resources, he's doing 25 years in the state penitentiary. This is the work. These men are professional. And as Chief Solomon said, your local police officers are important. That man standing over there taking notes nearly got shot right before I took office. There was a gang party. You think you don't have gangs? Well, when they leave Monticello, they come to Liberty. And if they know you don't have detectives, put the sign out for them to come here. One of these officers pulling people out of burning buildings, second floor buildings. I could go on and on and on. Where's Vogler? Vogler. Murder. A manslaughter on Grant Street. Within seven minutes, within seven minutes, he's got the person apprehended, under arrest, and in the police station. Talking. 
and you're talking about taking away the tools that this man needs to do his job and the tools that I need to do my job. It would be a travesty. We all need to pitch in. We all need to step up. 